back to my channel. I am a little bit sick as you might hear so that's why I haven't been recording. But I say that in every single video so let's cut to the chase. Today I'm gonna give you the full apartment tour. As you know I moved to a new apartment here in Budapest a few months ago. I believe almost four or five months ago and the apartment has changed a lot since then. We painted the walls, we bought a lot of decorations, furniture, and yeah, I finally feel like it's home. It is not complete whatsoever. I feel like the apartment to be 100% complete it's just not accurate, not for me, because I want to change the decor all the time and I get bored very easily, so I'm like, okay, I, I think it's time for me to film this video. Otherwise, I'm never gonna film it, so... This is my new apartment here living in Budapest. I would say it's pretty big. It's a two-bedroom apartment, one bathroom. I love that we have a big, big living room. We have the two bedrooms. We have a little balcony. The apartment didn't came with closets in the bedroom, so it's awesome to have a lot of storage in the hallway. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna shut up and let's get started with this video. Here is the door and as soon as you walk in, the first thing that we have is the kitchen. Over here we have a little thing for the keys. We put the keys there. We have a little plant over there. And this is where we put the, the jackets and the bags. And over here you have a little area to sit downward while you put your shoes. And then go into the kitchen. It's a pretty decent size kitchen. I think it comes very well packed. We have a lot of storage over here. We have a little countertop to one breakfast person, one person breakfast, I don't know. We have a, here some fruits. We have a beautiful view. And then here I have uh, things for the coffee. I have some vitamins over here, some species over here. And then over here I have kind of like the pantry where I have all of the sauces. I have more things here. And here we have the glasses. We storage the dining things, the mugs. And over here we have some more things. So I would say it's really big. We have a lot of storage obviously here. It's where we have the, the pot the oven it's over here and then we put some more things over there oh we have a dishwasher of course and then we have a lot of storage as I, I mentioned if you already watch my vlogs you will know that this is a very common spot for me in the house i'm all the time filming here but it's great because i have great illumination as i mentioned and i'm all the time here cooking <laughs> I overall love this kitchen for me the most important thing was the illumination we have the most beautiful sunsets here in the afternoon i love that everything is white <laughs> As soon as you walk out of the kitchen, we have the hallway, which we have a lot of closets. The first closet that we had over here is a shoe closet where we and the guests put the shoes. And then going over here, we have a mirror. Hello. And then I have a little plant over there. I have the tripod because I was using it, but just ignore it. <laughs> and then over here, I have some storage of the kitty things. Just like boring things. Now to this side we have another closet over here and here we have the bathroom is kind of separated. We have the toilet part over here and then in this side we have the bathtub and you have the sink pretty decent size I like the fact that it's kind of separated because if it's only one bathroom in the house I think it's very great that it's separated because 
then if you had visitors like over and they need to use the bathroom and someone is taking a shower or I don't know someone wants to retouch their makeup or something then some people can come to this bathroom and then the other bathroom gets also used although it is a little weird for me I mean from Latin America to have the bathroom separated but I mean it kind of has his logic guys i decided to buy this to have a little bit of organization here in the bathroom i also bought this rack that i use i use it a lot when i take bath i really like the title it looks like new york oh i forgot to mention that we also have the washer in the bathroom they don't have dryers here in hungary so that's a bit annoying <laughs> now moving on to this closet the bathroom didn't have a lot of storage so this is my husband's closet but i'm gonna explain to you why he has the hallway closet the thing is people that if you want that your marriage lasts it is better if you have your own closet and your husband has his own closet and since the bathroom didn't came with the closet we have to bought one but this space, and I'm gonna show you in a little bit, it was not that big, so the closet is not huge, it's not for like two people, so we took advantage that we have a lot of storage here in the hallway, and this closet, it's coming right out from the bathroom, so it was perfect for him, and he took in with that, so just to you know. So here's where he has his things fall over there and then here we have the part of the shirt i put a little light over here so it's like better oh you can see it oh there it is and then we have his hats over there and his shoes too now moving in we have our bathroom here is the door and the first thing that you have is this little poster that i think that is so cute because it's like him and i we have the laundry basket over there which is very small so i have to replace it and i have my yoga mat here we have the closet and as you might see i couldn't get a bigger closet because we needed the space for the door be able to be open it so this was the best option for us this is my closet love that i could organize it the way that i wanted i put a little light over there i have my boots i have all of my purses and then i have some shoes over there i have some clothes for being in the house my workout clothes and then in this side i have the clothes that goes hang in the hangers and i put that rack so i can organize it a little bit better i have a pretty big bed i believe this is a king size and then moving into this side we have my side of the bed of the bed and then i just put some things over here this a necessity right now because i'm so sick here i have my ring light my beer and then here this is my get ready station but i also work here sometimes so here i just have some beautiful flowers a really good candle and then here is like my get getting ready station i have some brushes my wash off for my daily use and then here i have my makeup i have some more things for the hair here i have things from work and here i just have my jewelry and some stuff now moving on to this side we have the living room which is pretty big i would say and then here we have the dining room let's start from this area i didn't know what to put there at the beginning i wanted like a round mirror but i cannot fix this and then i thought it might not look good with that thing of lighting over there so i just say okay let's try with that art thing and i like it because we don't have a lot of pictures from us here so i think that was perfect it makes it feel way more hummier now here we have the dining room this dining room it came with the house but we don't love it i wanted to change it but i think like it's not a priority right now because we have other things that we want to do so i just haven't paid much attention to it 
but it's not bad and then in this side we have a little plant and then here we have a little bar area which i love i put some things for my mocktails my favorite glasses i have this draw that my mom did it's supposed to be her and i and then over here we have some bottles and more kitty things this side we have the couch which i really like that it's very big but i do not love the design but it, it looks good, it works. I put the gray curtains over there. We have air conditioner, thank God. And then I just put some cushions. I put my tulipans and wearing more of those because I have those everywhere. We have some more kitty things. I wanted to buy the rack for her, but she had one in Mexico and she never used it. And she just loved boxes so i was like i'm not gonna complicate my life and i'm just gonna put boxes and as you might see she loves it and uses a lot moving on to this side we have like a little bar cabinet over here we have the tv the only thing is that i hate that the color of the furniture was damaged like you can see over there by the sun it got like yellow it's supposed to be white or like cream in this color of, or shade but I wanted to fix that but I still do not find a solution I try to pull wallpaper and it did not look good at all so just let me know what can I do with this closet so everything looks a little bit better if I can make it white then that's perfect here I have my little plant this was my first plant in here in Budapest and I love it she's so big she's growing she's glowing we have the candle some more art and then over there my buddha this part of the cabinet this is probably my favorite let's turn the lights on i am obsessed with this part of the bar all of the glasses here it looks so stinking cute so elegant and i put a little like movies or when we some snacks from when we are watching a movie or something but yeah that gets empty very fast so i have to refill it every week <laughs> which I decorated and we have a little continuing with the beers um, team. Here we have this closet, which we have to buy because the, as I mentioned, the bedrooms didn't came with any closet. So we have to buy, buy both of these. Oh, I'm sorry, the ambulance better. Okay, so yeah, we bought these closets and we bought the baskets so we can have like a better organization. Over here we have a single bed and then in this side we have a little desk situation that I normally use when I'm working from home. The thing with this room is that my mom didn't know if she was going to live here in Budapest or she was moving. So we wanted to make this bedroom like kinda multitasking like that we can use it then for a baby or that I can use it as my office or it can be just an extra room and that's why we have the single bed and i think because of the size of the bathroom it just fits perfect because if we put a bed bigger than this then it wouldn't just it wouldn't have space and it wouldn't look good moving on to this side we have the little balcony where the kitty loves to go out every single morning i have some plants over there rip for my that one she died <laughs> and then here we have some things we have this big bed, which is very comfortable. I usually came here in the afternoons and I read over there because the sun is not hidden. So this is like the worst hour to come outside. But yeah, I really love that. I, we put the lights over there too, so in the night it looks really good. Hi, Cookie. Hi. You love being outside, right? Let's go. It's too hot. Come on. Mm, she never wants to come inside There you go mama. Thank you Okay guys, 
so there you have that's my new apartment for here in budapest it is way more better than the first apartment however i love that first apartment because a lot of memories happened over there but i love this apartment because it's really big it's very bright and it's just perfect for us the area it's also really good because we have the metro right next to us we also have uh, the mall right next to us so every time that we need something we just literally walk a few steps and then we can have a, we can buy anything that we need over there i actually have to go after filming this to buy a few things in the mall if you want to see my first apartment here in budapest i'm gonna leave the link below and also if you want to know how was the situation with apartment hunting and all of those topics i'm gonna leave the link of the video that i already make about apartment hunting living in budapest and also i have another video that is cost of living here in budapest but i'm also gonna leave the link below so you can check all of that if you are interested in moving to budapest or you just want to know because you're curious i'm gonna leave all of those videos in the description below so I really hope you like this video remember that I'm just a Latina showing you the English version of me so I'm so sorry for any bad pronunciation and I hope you enjoyed this video and like my apartment and my style because I'm really happy with it but it's not finished and I don't think it will ever be but that's how it's looking right now and I'm so happy with that so I'll see you in the next video